Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Kavanaugh's classmates just suddenly showed up with concrete evidence for Senate committee. The plot thickens. Kavanaugh's second accuser, Ramirez, came forward claiming that Kavanaugh exposed himself to her at a party when she was very drunk. Of course, not even Ramirez was sure that it was Kavanaugh and had to ask other classmates recently if they thought it was Kavanaugh or not. So far there are at least two people who were present at the same party that have come forward to say it was in fact not Kavanaugh. Well, now she has reportedly spoken to the FBI just as a New York Post writer has found something that might blow the allegation to pieces, which we will get to in just a bit. First, take a look at the allegation and the chaos that surrounds the whole ordeal. She was at first hesitant to speak publicly, partly because her memories contained gaps because she had been drinking at the time of the alleged incident. In her initial conversations with The New Yorker, she was reluctant to characterize Kavanaugh's role in the alleged incident with certainty, The New Yorker reported. After six days of carefully assessing her memories and consulting with her attorney, Ramirez said that she felt confident enough of her recollections to say that she remembers Kavanaugh had exposed himself at a drunken dormitory party, thrust his penis in her face, and caused her to touch it without her consent as she pushed him away. Ramirez was to be interviewed by the FBI as part of the Bureau's one-week reinvestigation of the background of the Supreme Court nominee. However, a new wrinkle may have presented itself in the form of a report about an alleged letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Another little nugget of information you would probably like to know is that New York Post writer, Ronan Farrow, also indicated that Ramirez came forward because she was contacted by Senate Democrats to do so, and not the other way around. Knowing this, makes one wonder exactly what the Senate Democrats are doing behind closed doors. According to New York Post journalist, Paul Sperry, a former classmate of Ramirez who attended the same party has come forward and identified a fraternity brother as the actual person who allegedly exposed himself to Ramirez. The alleged incident happened during a party at Yale in the early 1980s. Furthermore, Sperry claimed that the Senate Judiciary Committee was also aware of this, because of a letter from the classmate who had come forward. At the current time Sperry's source is unknown, in the past he has cited things out of the committee so we can only speculate that he may have a source on the committee itself. At this time, the Senate has not confirmed the new information yet. People seem to be coming out of the woodworks to take action against Kavanaugh. It's like the Pandora box has been opened against him since becoming Trump's nominee for the Supreme Courts. Which, isn't too surprising when we consider all the dramatic attempts the Democrats have made in the past to cut the right down no matter what it takes including their souls. One such attempt was noted by Senator Chuck Grassley. It was a false allegation from a Rhode Island man who made an attempt to smear Kavanaugh's name. It was an entirely false report and the man was referred to the FBI for investigation. Rhode Island man who is now under investigation for making false statements to the Senate Judiciary Committee about a sexual assault he initially said Kavanaugh perpetrated in the mid-1980s. He has since repudiated the story. Folks, doesn't it feel like the entire case against Kavanaugh is going nowhere quickly? Not once have we received any sort of concrete evidence of any of the claims against him. Ford herself can't even remember where she was the night of the alleged assault against her, nor can she remember how she got home afterwards. On top of that, so far none of her witnesses are able to corroborate her story whatsoever. Ramirez, his second accuser was so drunk she had to ask other peers if what she thought happened was true, and there was a mixed response yet she still decided to come forward with her accusations despite them being a drunken blur. Whether or not she came forward on her own or through a push from the Senate Democrats, there just isn't enough evidence to support any of it, no matter what way you look at it. It's just a bunch of nonsense on top of nonsense, and there is no room for that when there is a country to be ran. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.